Hello, welcome to Victory Chat with Jackie McKeever. On Victory Chat, we talk about books, business management, and the mindset. Why? Because your victory starts here. Your victory starts literally with a conversation. A video presentation can be found on my YouTube channel, Jackie D. McKeever. That's Jackie D as in Delta McKeever on YouTube. So while you're there, make sure you subscribe. So for today's Behind the Author's Pen, I have a guest with me. Her name is Maria Prince Lua. And I practiced that, okay? Her book, her book is called Enough. Welcome, Maria. How are you doing? Hi, Jackie. I'm well and you. <laughs> I'm giggling because it took me a couple of times to say your last name, but I think I got it. Did I do okay? You did okay. You did okay. Really okay. Okay. <laughs> so thank goodness for first names, though. Y'all, yes. this Southern Twain get in the way sometimes. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Anyway, so... Are you ready to get in the hot seat and answer the questions that inquiring minds been wanting to know as we get behind your author's pen and all up in your business? Are you ready? I am ready. <laughs> yes, it'll be okay. I'll be gentle. The first question I have for you is why did you write this book? Um, being a victim and a survivor of domestic violence myself, um, then I started my healing process and during that time I started helping and assisting women also going through the same things and then it was just in my heart that so many women don't realize and so many people don't realize the actual devastating effects of domestic violence on a female's life and then I, I, I just had to write the book I, I just had to and the stories of the women in the book, um, some of them um, unfortunately passed away. And mm. it's stories that need to stay alive. It, it needs to be out there. How, the second question is, how long did it take for you to write this book? To write a book didn't take me that long. But the research and the interviews and getting all the information, because it took a lot of um, uh, research and interviews with medical personnel, um, especially on the parts where I go into the, the mental um, effects and the health issues that comes with this. I had to do a lot of research, but writing the book, I would say about six to eight months. Were there any delays with publishing the book? Yes, there was a lot of problems. <laughs> um, when I started to throw the idea into the water with the publishers, I had a few that came back and said, oh, yes, we will be interested in publishing something like this. But I guess that that's a few wrong issues there in the book. And because they all said, no, they, they, they uh, due to the economic climate, there's no, they're not going to publish now. So then it took me a real struggle, but then we got it published, yeah. That's good that you got got the book published. So who exactly um, did you write this book for? Is it just for women or is it a certain no. age group? No, um, men and women. You don't have to be a specific um, sex or race or culture to go through this. Um, I also touched down on sexual abuse um, hmm. because it was it's always linked onto the domestic violence um, uh, aspect. So um, it happens everywhere. Um, the book is for everybody. Men also get abused. I'm glad you mentioned about the economic status too, because regardless of how much income, it happens in many families and stuff. And sometimes people will be accepting of things and it's not okay to go through abuse. Um, there's a lot of um, famous people coming forward and admitting abuse in, in the household. Um, that is a good sign, but that really doesn't change the fact that there is women 
totally stranded without the financial means of hiring top lawyers, of paying a bodyguard to protect you, um, there's women that has nowhere to go because the system is failing us. I said. So before this book, have you written any other books, stories, articles, or blogs before? I do write blogs. Um, I also have published work in Afrikaans, um, my actual language, <laughs> crime stories. And then the, for this 2023, there's four um, coming out in Afrikaans, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Will there be any other books for you? They will be. I am working on another um, um, Warrior Women book. For, for us ladies to fight the fight. That's good. <laughs> and then I'm, good. Also, I'm also working on another kind of crime series, yes. So what do you want readers to get when they read this book? Um, I think most importantly for me is for anybody that takes the book and read it, um, if you are a victim, to see where the different places is where you need to get some help. Most women just get out of the domestic violence situations and they don't even deal with it. They don't deal with the stress. They don't go to therapy. They don't, they think, okay, we're out of it. The kids are safe, I'm safe. They don't look at the damage. And that's the most important part of the healing that needs to be done. And then also for anybody that is not in a situation of domestic violence to actually read the book and see Maybe you can you can see somebody that is in need or somebody that needs help, and this book will tell you what you can do to safely assist a person, not doing stupid things. That's good. So, what authors, what books or authors inspire you? I only have one actual big hero, and it's in a way a different genre than that, that I write in. Um, I'm a Dan, Dan Brown fan, totally. I just, he, I've got all his books. <laughs> I'm a total fan, fan of his. Um, but then I also write, I read, I read a lot. Um, it, there's too many, <laughs> but my, if I can meet Dan, Dan Brown, like, <laughs> So what advice would you give others writing a book? Um, stick to your stick to it, especially if it's uh, something that you feel in your heart will help somebody. Um, I, I'm going into this book with if I can only help one person and one person did come back and say this helped a lot. So I've done, I've done my job, but stick to it. Stick to your plan, um, listen to editors, uh, but don't try your work out. Sometimes editors can be very harsh on your work. So listen to them, but do what your heart says, right? And just stick with it, go with it. It's fun. Editing is nasty, but it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give us a sample reading of your book and tell us where we can purchase it? Um, this specific book is available on Amazon and it's available on NS Scriverize and it's available on my website www.mariaprinsloer.co.za and then um, I can read you the back of the book. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my word, I'm blind. <laughs> so <think> yeah. <laughs> you know, with South African load shedding. <laughs> um, okay, so on the back of the book, it reads Well, the COVID 19 pandemic has confined most of the world in some part of lockdown. It has also confronted us with the horrific truth about the pandemic of gender based violence. This self help book is for every person dealing with domestic violence and sexual abuse not only in South Africa, but all around the world. We remember all the victims of abuse who has been silenced by death. Women and children are being raped, abused, stalked, murdered, and they are expected to keep quiet about this. We can no longer accept this as a normal. 
statistics tell us that more than half of the murders in the world committed is committed by partners. Mm-hmm. Husbands killing their wives, wives killing husbands, um, and the children suffer the most abuse of all. These are stories told anonymously by um, people that kept their identity safe, to keep their identity safe. They have shared these stories willingly and in their own words, from the, their own perspective. Um, I'm just going to stop there. There is stories of 10 victims in the book where the, I let them, I didn't change to the tile, I didn't do much editing, a little bit of grammar here and there, but um, I chose the most horrific stories to put in the book to wake up the people that's reading the book. And then, unfortunately, most of them has passed since the book has been published. Mm, I'm sorry. That's so sad. Uh, um, thank you so much for answering our question. Thank you for sitting in our hot seat. <laughs> See, you all go out and go to Amazon, go to her website, purchase her book. 